Okay, this is and will be a little bit of a struggle. This took me like two hours right now to set up and figure out. So struggle with me for a few minutes here. We're gonna get our Fallout from the Epic Store with mods to work. Where is my game? Ah, we're gonna start with these things. First of all, there are five different language files. I have modded German right now, which you need to separate and mod every folder if you want to play in two languages like I would want. So I've modded Fallout here a little bit. And if I want to play in English, I need to got them mod that thing too. So basically, if you are having versions here that you don't want to play, like me in Spanish, I can just delete Spanish, version is delete, and it's gone. I don't need that. If you just want to play in English, you, of course, gonna add, add and mod everything into here, into the Goatee English version. That's the important thing. I have modded German right now. This is why this is a little bit fuller. fuller. I've modded myself a few mods here, a few simple ones just to see if everything works, like the pistol is normally silver, now it's black, and the sprint mod, which was a struggle to get to work. But I'm just gonna show you real quick what I got going here, mods wise. Yeah, let me inside the game. The first important thing is getting the game to work, even for some people, it is difficult with different stores and different platforms like for me i couldn't get it to work with steam and now i got it to work with epic seemingly this is the black pistol normally it's silver and this is the sprint mod that i've downloaded as you can see ap goes away i sprint i've got a safe file to start me in the vault at the exit of the vault the emp or the reshade the reshade i have on I feel like it's not working and for reshades and EMP you will need more things like a reshader program or an EMP program to get that to work which I've covered in Stray if actually a lot of people want that I will struggle some more to get that to work which also ain't quite that easy also I got it in my Fallout 4 somewhere where's the file reshade setup that thing you will need that thing if you want to get reshades to work which is another video maybe okay 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 this is the goatee German version with uh got a few mods with vortex and a few mods copied inside here and the data folder we're gonna get to that we're gonna get to that okay i'm gonna start with the websites in a second so i've just checked it where are we where's my folders mods carry apparently over from the vortex mod manager from the english to the german version also the safe carried over because the safe under um where is it brum, brum, brum. nope that's not it there's one my safe file my game saves there aren't no German or English version for the saves, so the saves also carry over. Like you can see, that's a German sentence, Mein Eingang zu Vault, and then Main Vault 101 Entrance, that's the new save right here. So saves do carry over, and apparently mods also carry over, which is just especially for me confusing as hell, <laughs> because I just modded it in two games to see if everything works. Yo! Yo, we're still gonna download everything right now. Okay. Okay, let's start. Let's start here with the fixed guide. I'm gonna link you everything you see on top of here. Everything here will be linked. And um, you're probably gonna start on different points. Some of you may have not Vortex installed yet, which is, well, Nexus Mods favorite mod download manager. There are different download managers for Fallout 3 and Fallout games, but this is the one that's recommended. Because when you click here files, you will often have mod manager download 
and then you can download everything with the mod manager here which is gonna look basically like that it's a little bit mixed with german and english you know it's weird it's weird it's weird i'm sorry okay so if you don't have the mod manager i'm having a link for you in the description you can download that and get that thing to work which is yeah you're gonna have to set that up too i'm gonna show you in a second okay here is the fallout fix guide for fallout 3 and other fallout games and they also recommend you to get the anniversary edition patch on the nexus page which you can also get for the link right here or through a separate link right here which is the official nexus site where you can get that thing yeah that's gonna be a lot okay followed mods okay followed fixed guide there are some different solutions here on how to get followed free to work if you haven't got that to work yet like running it as an administrator and so on if you have followed free working you can get right to patching and modding if you don't have followed free working you can drive different things here like running it as an administrator like i said okay okay first of all let's find our followed free copies in our safe files when you're here on library or bibliotheque library or bibliotheque you have that dot 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 thing you click on that you click on manage the Viking should be managed it's over the installing and then by installation down here you have a folder symbol that's the folder where your files are and then you either delete all the files you don't want like if you're english you're probably gonna delete german and you're gonna click on that it's also a good thing if you would click on that and then there's um which means you're gonna get it on your left side here like i have that with my fallout 4 that's uh, i don't know what's that called in english but you get that on the left side and you find that easier that's the first thing we're gonna need your fallout library folder okay you can close that leave epic store open at all times next thing we're gonna just leave that folder open next thing is you're gonna look here if you want a fail safe little if you want a safe file if you want a safe file you go under here under windows the search bar my games you may have to tap it out then you get my games another folder followed free safe files if you want to get yourself a safe file downloaded from the nexus you short break again so we have found our folders which is the game of the year go to edition which you still get for free on epic right here that's the game you get that still for free then we don't need that anymore this is Bethesda's support guide on where to install game, the game, your game, the mods. Ah, it's this thing. While mods are not officially supported, you can find the installed directory here. See broken files, it's not true if with me it's E and Epic Games. Which, well, it's easier in the way I've shown you. Okay, Vortex, that's the mod to download. That's the full of patcher edition video video instructions which you can also use it's a little bit out of date because of certain things like this requirements this one i did not have to download that to get that to work the last time i tried it with steam i downloaded that and i couldn't get my game to work anyway so i would try to ignore that just think you will have that i think you will have that and in this video he also didn't mention that you need to this to download this thing the retrospectibles the retrospectibles you might not have to download that so just ignore that 
for the moment that's the video you can also click that it's also linked how to downgrade Fallout 3 to fix Foza and mods 2021 for Steam and GOG mostly is this video <sighs> yeah this lovely comment love after all these years Bethesda pushes through a patch to get the vanilla game playable after purchasing on Steam and in the process F's up almost two decades of mods and community support that went out fixing the broken BOS game biro engine in the first place. Love is duff. Okay, we're here. There are some features. The compatibility. Yeah, I'm struggling with English today. I'm rushing this through. This is gonna be long anyway. And an installation guide. You should try to get your Fallout to work first before launching this patch up that's what i'm trying to do, tell you here to get some ini files okay we're gonna run that and download that and then run the patch file if you like me where is it game of the year there is nothing in here yet and if we're in the german version it's already here installed the patch exe down here are some redundant mods a um, list of mods made redundant by the patcher which you don't not have to download anymore like games of windows live disabler then some recommended mods i only got myself the first one i have a long list of mods here anyways that are just for showcasing well let's get into downloading this is gonna be long enough anyways manual download okay you either, if you click manual download, ignore that, you either gonna download everything, slow download, yeah this is taking a while, sorry I'm not a premium member, you either gonna download that into the downloads folder to find it easy or folder to find it easy or, the, or if you have done it like me you see your Fallout game of the year edition anyways here and you're gonna download and drag that in here then you will have it in here okay next thing i just realized you will need a 7-zip or winrar and archive folder like those things which you also need to download if you don't have that already which is for a lot of mods for a lot of modding games definitely recommend it and you will need it like you can see right here right now I don't like the screen like that. Let's get it like that. Damn, I have way too much open. Okay, here we are. Follow free game of the year edition English. If you click open in ordner, open in folder, then you will see immediately which mod that is. You can click on it, right click, 7 zip, extract to Fallout anniversary patch. So you get that in the same folder right here. And then you got yourself this folder. You can delete the 7 zip order. Yeah, it's a 7 zip file. You can delete that. Lush and delete. Okay, we got this thing here. We're gonna copy everything into here. And then we are gonna have everything in here also. Next thing we do double click left side on the mouse on this thing. Then you get this thing. And then uh, it says it's completed successfully. Press a random button. I'm pressing enter key. This works. Everything works. That's great because it works. This game is already patched. So it just works. If you get that, that's good. If you don't get that like invalid executable, you need to verify that game, which he explains is when you're on steam whoop ah when you're on steam you get a local files verify integrity and click this thing here if you don't get that which is for steam apparently for epic it just worked immediately i'm not quite sure where to verify since it's all in english it's probably going to be überprüfen, checking files and something like that. 
you I hope it doesn't get that complicated for you okay so this thing works next thing you should get immediately afterwards 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 yep Boop. get back to the description is download the folder script extender for vortex or the nexus that's the next thing you click this thing here current beta version this version as they say in the posts if you have questions or further struggles in the posts on the posts you get some more things for troubleshooting yeah that's this thing here okay and they say you need this version of Fosa installed which is this version right here download if you made it like me where are we okay i'm getting this file or folder immediately so you save that in there in folder show in folder it's a 7-zip file again extract again you're getting a full folder here you can delete the folder 7-zip file you click on this thing you can delete this one and the rest of them i'm probably sure you can delete the text files too and this thing you're just gonna copy or extract in here but i would recommend you to copy that and now your vortex will actually be capable of reading Whoa, that's so much to do your vortex will be capable of reading the fosa because it's in the same folder which you might also have to troubleshoot a little bit. Let's close that down. Here's my Vortex. I'm opening that up. And I need to um, switch a little bit of things here because Fallout 3 just has the German folder and I need to switch it to the English folder. Okay, Spiele or Games. You click on that. You will have to file or search it here. Fallout 3. Then you get this thing it won't look like that it will look like mostly one of those things you click on this thing and then you get followed free here i need to switch the verzeichnis i need to switch that there we have speicherort the folder where your game is um, manually you need to make sure you have that manually okay you're gonna get not that you're probably gonna get something like this and this is what you need to know where your folder is either way you're probably gonna have it done like that like me and then you find it easily you and you can select this folder then and now this folder is active okay once you got your game folder set, you probably, ah, by the way, game folder and it should all be in the same folder E. For me, if it's all in C, then it should all be in C. There, you can check on top downloads, the mods you've downloaded here. My mods, I just downloaded this twice. Mods carry over again. And here, if you want to delete something, you first delete it here under Lösch and Delete. And then under here, Entfernen, Delete. And then Delete the Archive. I got that twice anyways, that's why I can delete it. If you want to delete something, it's something that doesn't seem to work. <laughs> oh, I've already confused myself way too much. Okay, modding, modding, more mods this command extender is something they recommended which what does it do again i don't know but it's needed for a sprinting mod from what i've seen fixes several engine bugs adds follows custom any supported numerous script functions okay that's what it does i've downloaded it manually you can either use it as a manual download or through vortex when you have known that your vortex works it's probably better with vortex i've downloaded it manually i'm gonna show you it's in your data folder 
which if you want to download mods manually, you would go manual download. I got that for the script extender as the FOSA file. We download it here. Download manually. Slow download. I'm not a Bremen user. This is longer than I hoped for, but you can't help it. Okay. Followed English data. Safe. Open. Then you need to extract that into the same folder, which is going to be confusing and weird if you don't put that under the quick tabs, maybe. Maybe that's what it's called. And then you're going to extract that right here. Extract. So you get a new folder. I'm closing that down. Deleting this file. So now I need to see if I actually put that into the right folder. Damn, I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, where is it? Where is it? That's normally a package. God damn it, I screwed it up. Ah, let's download it again. Ah, troubleshooting as always. Extract. Let's see. Yep, I didn't put that into. I didn't put it into data. I needed to put it into data. Normally, nothing wrong happens if you get it wrong. Did something happen now? I feel like I just got FOSA again. Mm. Mm. Mm, yeah, I got it already. Okay, okay. Brrr. Oh, my voice is also dying. I hate doing this video because this is actually quite exhausting. Okay. Follow three goatee data. It's the FOSA file. Rip data. It's the FOSA file. And that's how it should look like. So I can delete this FOSA file here because I'm an idiot. Okay. To confuse you some more. Ah, let's do the save file at the end. Here you have the sprint mod. I recommend downloading that with the mod manager after you installed FOSA and command. And here's the 10 millimeter file just for testing, for easy testing, because you get 10 millimeters immediately. Also download that with the mod manager. If you click download here, it's pretty much the same. Slow download and then you get that popping up in here. And it's gonna look like that and it's gonna work. Okay, save file. The save file is a little bit more complicated. Save game just before leaving Vault 101. I, with you, have searched out this folder. My game saves. You're gonna save that into here. Which means you are here. Save game just before leaving Vault 101. Files. Huh, you actually can mod manage the download that. Anyways, let's manually download it anyways. Ah. I guess that lip thrill thing is something I do when I'm overworked. I don't know. Under too much pressure. Okay. Since you're not gonna find that that easily, you can do it like that. Downloads, save it in downloads. Show it in folder, extract. Extract that to your download folder. So you have that thing here. Then you cut that out or copy. And you are going to put that into my games saves right here. It's already here. That's why I'm getting that replace in target. Why not? Let's put it here. And if you launch the game now in your English or German version, always launch with this or this option. You get the options screen here. By the way, if you record that in a certain resolution, you should use the resolution of your monitor. 
for me it's extra wide screen I don't know there you can see it that's what I'm using otherwise it yeah gonna get complicated anyways okay those are my options by the way you can launch it with that or with that and with that you get into the game immediately like that Ooh, I hope there's a better construction on how to get everything to work if you have started it for the first time you have now new load and continue as an option when you have installed that save file that save file is this vault entrance that's the one I've selected for you so you get into the vault you get outside the vault I've always played this game with controller so it's a little bit new to me but the 10 millimeter is installed in all black and then you can enter and exit the vault and you get the patented thing here my pistol is black right i'm not oh lovely and then you can play the game is my sprint mod working yep my sprint mod is working and a level up too let's just quit out of there before this video will be too long okay well everything should be linked what you can see up here there's also i'm gonna also link you the reddit page with a few extra hot tips maybe but uh, it's a long list of things to do and those are just like four or three mods are downloaded but modding this game ain't that easy and if you want to play with a lot of mods you will have to go through those steps for sure and also having vortex installed and then you're probably gonna have to read through all the mods you need and there are for reshades and emps there's more you will need if you open Nexus mod, now that's four. God damn it, Fallout 4 modding is easier. Fallout 3, there. If you open the Nexus page, there are 700 sites, there are a bunch of mods. And you probably have to take a long time to actually find a lot of mods you want to play and test and get everything to work. And a lot of mods will have requirements that's gonna be even more difficult that mod doesn't have any requirements that's a big mod that's an overhaul mod pretty much wet and lightning mood in tint and to get rid of awful green tinted everything it does both indoors and outdoors it's a big mod i can download that real quick show you how long that takes with the mod manager slow download If there are any errors that occurred through all this hassle, just tell me. Just tell me. Okay. Failout should be installed. Plugging's not sorted because failout is not a valid plugin. Lovely. Um, what? <laughs> lovely, lovely. Like I said, troubleshooting you everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, that's why. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. There's a lot of troubleshooting. Uh, okay, I don't want to get into that. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. This is long enough anyway, so I'm going to throw it out immediately again. Ah, oh, fuck off. <laughs> I mean, peace out. Peace out is what I went to say. Yeah, this is not that easy. And if you want more, I'm probably going to need and want as many mods and blah, blah, as many views as with the other video with the Epic Store one. And a lot of people requesting that because this is not easy, as you can see. Peace out. This is my recording software, by the way. Peace out.